G'day ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another let's play let's go let's see let's do and today what the hell are we going to do? Star citizen folks and yes welcome back apologies for the nasally sound across the microphone um, yours truly is uh, a little bit under the weather at the moment but that's okay um, you'll get over it I'll get over it and let's have a look at 3.24 as you can see, I pressed I and, um, well, that's changed. So my global inventory doesn't exist anymore in the old way that it used to. Um, I know, folks, it, it's been a couple of weeks since it's been released. I'm a little bit late to the game, but, well, I'm, I'm experiencing this for the first time, so you're going to hear about it. Yeah, okay. So let's have a look and see what this monstrosity is all about. We've all seen the YouTube videos. Is this the terminal? Okay. It is. And what am I looking at? Okay, so now here's the question. Where is gear? So, okay, that's container. I don't even remember having that, but okay. Oh, they've made shit really small now. Great. Is that like true for everything? Or is it just these sh little shitty food things? Okay, they're stackable still. Okay, can't argue with that. There's no ammo. Got all my utilities. Anyway, folks, I decided to kind of get myself going in the background. The good news is it's drag and drop. All right. So I really like that. There's no bucket that you have to pull things out of, at least not yet. Um, so that's good. So we're all together, all suited up. And now I have to go get some ammo. So I'm a cubby blaster, still at area 18, by the way. And um, yeah, I'll buy a couple of these things. About, what do you reckon? Five? Well, that's about six, but that's all right. Five and six? That's all right. Fuck it. We'll buy that. Now, um, ah, <laughs> old habits will die hard. So pressing the I for the inventory button is definitely not going to work for me on this one. Fuck. So I need to go to a terminal which doesn't Hi, exist store. here. Yeah, hey, mate. Um, ah, oh, shit. Why don't they have a couple of terminals after or inside? Crap. Now where the fuck do I go? This way? Ah, there we go. We got some down here. Oh, that's going to be fucking annoying. Um, here we go. Yay! Okay, so we will attach these to said person. Okay, did that work? Yeah, five, four. Okay, beautiful. And we'll put the other ones in the backpack. All good. Now, there's another player there. It was. So what are we going to do, folks? Obviously, this is a cargo um, update. So I'm going to take out the baddest ship I have for cargo running. And that is the good old Hercules, the C2. So I really wanted to see now what this is going to look like. Now, a couple of weeks back, I did do a video, the before. This is now the after. So what I'm going to do is probably, once I get this shit going, and after running around, maybe I'm also going to put a little timer on the screen. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, so I've got a couple of ideas here, folks. I think this video is going to be... Yeah, 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 okay, I'll, I'll say it like this. This video is going to be like the edited, all oh, this is what it looks like, look, move a box here and all the other shit, if it works. I'll do another video, and then I'll post it the next day, okay? And this will be, the other one will be, this is how long it's going to take, or this is what really happens, or something along those lines. I, I, I don't know. But you know what I'm trying to say. This is going to be the edited down one, and the other one's going to be... The extremely long one because I've got a feeling this is going to be extremely long so my ship has um, obviously come up here's the ASOP terminal there which I don't need but that's okay um, I like the fact that the elevator just showed my um, hangar name and that was basically it so that's quite nice um, if you didn't see that already uh, I've got some inventory stuff here storage access yeah okay don't really need to fuck around with that yeah, okay, fair enough, it's the same. Okay, I thought I was going to do a little bit more. 
there's nothing over here so this is my personalized hanger so they tell me area 18 the good thing is is because i've got such large ships this is the big hanger i don't know if it's the biggest but it is the big hanger and i'm just looking around now even though it says it's personalized i don't think i can move half this shit around hmm maybe i can but maybe not today so ships looking good all right let's see what's happening over here oh what the hell's that freight manager oh i've been seeing these things all right what do you look like means absolutely nothing to me at this point all right we will it's interesting why can't i select the warehouse uh, I'm going to have to figure out this thing as we go along, folks. Old man playing games. We're going to be in for a laugh, that's for sure. Alright, so that's one side. I'm guessing the other side is going to be its reciprocal. Maybe? Yeah, it looks like it. So it looks like in the big, in the big hangars you've got... Yeah, it's a mirror image because I'm seeing that other terminal a little bit further up. Yeah, there you go. There you go. It's a, let's call it an inverted mirror image. So yes, there's another freight elevator. So I've got two freight elevators, which is not a bad thing to have, I think. But we're not caring about freight elevators and stuff now, are we? Because we've got no freight. So what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Well, here's the plan for you, folks. If I get into the ship, the plan is to hit um, one of the mining areas on Weller actually the same one as i did in the previous video the before video and um yeah we'll just see how all that goes oh shit what the hell's happening with the graphics here Whoa, oh, it's giving me a fucking headache ev stop fucking hell stop that shit stop 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 oh for fuck's sake all right looks like they fucked up something else no nope it's still like that oh how bad is it gonna be oh, okay only until I get out of the hangar. All right. Yeah, that's not good when you're going to come in for a landing. Uh, Thank you. So anyway, folks, like I mentioned, we are coming towards Arcorp Mining Area 56 on Wella. And it looks like it has changed from the last time I was here, which was eh, a couple videos ago. All right. So I can see that... People, uh, and again, I jumped on very quickly, so this is, even though the video has come out very late, I did jump on very quickly when the patch went live, so so far I haven't seen any issues, and that's why the playlist is also quite oh, low. So let us come in for a bit of a landing here, folks. Uh, don't, no dust storms, I want to actually see what the hell I'm doing this time, please, come on. Alright, so that thing on the, um, that thing, that building on the pad is very different, or just off the pad. And we're going to go and have a look at that one. I'm guessing that's, well, oh, fuck. Ah, shit. Smashing everything here. So, yeah, now I actually have to think about where I'm going to land and how I'm going to land this thing. This is going to be an interesting gameplay. Uh, oh, no, yeah, maybe. Are we down? I don't think we're down properly. Uh, it's a bit too much of the nose. Is that, or, no, 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 we're down. And looking at the, um, the cargo elevator, which I'm assuming that thing is, that seems to be okay, all right? So it's not the best landing, folks, but it is in comparison where everything is, not bad either. So here we go. We're in the actual um, area where we're going to obviously get our cargo. But first I wanted to see what I got to pick up from here. Because this area, this has also changed. You can't just throw things into the global inventory of this area. Which is annoying. <laughs> it's annoying. So you can only grab what you can carry. Which, in fairness, if you want to take the game literally, yeah, okay, like real life too. You can't just magically dump it, but that's something you should also know. 
There's no more just leaving shit here in the area for the next like 350 years okay. or the next wipe. Okay, so again, everybody's going to be starting to have um, backpacks more and more often now. I can see that coming. Maybe a lot of people are going to be taking around um, cargo containers, empty ones, and filling them up there. Might also be an interesting um, yeah, way forward. But first you'd have to pick it up to put it in. It's very click, clicky, clicky, clicky sounds. Okay, so I think we're done. Hi. Yep, we're done. Let's have a look here. Now this is going to be an interesting one. Okay, so what do we got? We got Laronite, all right? We got, what is it, 86 of the bloody things. So let's just get Laronite. Now, again, I don't know how this is all going to work, so I'm going to select the C2. Okay, things have gotten bigger, but... Okay. That's not working. Why the hell is that not working? Diamond? No. It's got nothing to do with low inventory. Okay, yeah, I was expecting to see these things, like... Those numbers, where are the numbers? Okay, out of stock is not um, my problem here. Shit. Don't tell me it's not working. Come on. Um, do I have to select the cargo grid for this to work? Hang on, sorry folks. So this is where CIG instructions help. Okay, so that doesn't work for that stuff up there. Okay, so either there's a problem or Ev's done something wrong. Let's have a look. Let's Okay, let's think about this differently. If it's not going to go to my ship, then where is it going to go to? Okay, that's interesting. But what the hell does this mean now? Okay, um, I don't know, is it that too? Because I've got these two things here, what's this one? Okay, I've got the numbers here, but... Alright, so hang on, hang on. Let, let's think logically. If I'm... It doesn't have the numbers there. Okay, so it doesn't automatically go to my ship. So that means, does it go to me as the player? But then... Okay, let's press something. Let, fuck it, let's press it. Um, so if I move it across, oh, it's not even letting me move it across at all. Oh, yeah, there we go. But <laughs> with a zero value. Ah, oh, come on. Fuck, are you, are you kidding me here? It's probably... Can I put it in the unit myself? Hang on, let me use the keyboard. Well, that did nothing. Move the bar across, but nothing else happened. Okay, so... To uni, to my character name, that ain't gonna work, is it? Maybe the two's fucked up. Is it good for the four? No, I don't see any difference here, folks. Um, shit. So it doesn't let me buy, but we did get a little bit further. I'm thinking now, is it gonna be the same? Clicking at F is not gonna help. Yeah, I don't know. I really don't know. I mean, obviously, they've got cargo here, and obviously, there's a low amount of cargo, so someone must have come in before to buy something. So something works. Okay, let's try the, the diamond. I Man, I didn't want to go for diamond, but... Nope, same shit. Okay, maybe I have to click off, click back. Because it shows the, the changing up on top when you go from the ca uh, the uh, cargo container size. But it doesn't like it that I'm buying it. Is it because it's like the my character? Does it have to... Do I have to buy this at a... Hang on, let's have a look. Hang on, let, I've got an idea. Is this now meaning I have to buy it at the actual... No, they, I don't think the other character... I'm guessing... Not the ship, doesn't like, I didn't even show the ship. Hey, where's the ship? 
Um, so the ship, we can guarantee it doesn't work. What do you reckon? The outpost, it's... Oh, you piece of shit. It even changed the fucking image. All right. This means I believe... Hey, here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go. Now, come on, click. That's one container. Hey, you look at this. That's what we're looking for. All right. Let's go two containers. Oh, like two SCU size. All right. I'm going to just do a test, okay, folks? I'm only going to do it with two because I've never done this before. I'm not going to burn money for nothing. I've learned my, I've done my dues in this game. So let's go have a look. Okay, now, I think that bought. All right, so, all right, I get it, I get it. So you actually have to now purchase to the location you're at as opposed to your ship. All right. Again, that would have been a little bit of, well, knowledge that we call all could have used. I will open up the cargo bay and just for FYI as well, folks, I know that they've already done the like, um, the, what do you call it? The tractor beam, the little tractor beam, the multi-tool. That won't work with the larger boxes. I know that. And I haven't gone off and buy the, um, the huge ass tractor beam thing. So I'm not going to get the big ass boxes this time. All right. So we're just going to do the little ones. And again, we're testing to see what this looks like and how long it's going to take. Um, so I'm also going to be very curious to see what this means. So, so far, I don't see anybody else around. No one's shooting. That's a good sign. Now the elevator. How does this thing fucking work? Okay. That didn't work properly. Okay. So I see something saying location. Okay, I can't get to that. What do I need to do? Ah, uh, this... No, expanding it didn't do shit. How do I get to... Ah, uh, do I have to... Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, think like a programmer, Ev. You got the elevator at the top, right? I have a feeling to get to the warehouse, you actually have to send the elevator down. And then it opens, it goes to the warehouse. <laughs> of course. Aha. Uh -huh. All right. So we just do the move all. Well, we can do drag and drop as well. Well, that's, I think, done. And then send the elevator up. All right. All right. I got this. Now, do I watch this screen or do I watch the thing elevator come up itself? Okay. This one says it's complete, and there we go. All right. Now, after a little bit of time of trying to get the bloody tractor beam out, this is what editing is for, um, we're now able to do something. Oh, have they changed the color of the positioning? Like the lock to grid things? I think they have. So let's have a look. They have. They've made it more of like a an outline but only at that point why doesn't it work anymore there's no snapping the grid there oh that sucks come on let's try this again ah there we go so it snaps the grid only when you go into the ship once and then you have to do it again all right fair enough now can I reach from over here to get it? I don't know. Let's have a look. I ah, will go closer. Fuck it. Okay. All right. So this is the gameplay now, is it? Where we were all, all of us would have actually purchased this in the past had it already mag magically loaded up on our ships and we'd be flying back by now. Probably by this time we'd actually be coming back for the second cargo run. All right, so I'll just dump it here. Again, it's not auto, ah, well, it did auto something. Um, so, oh fuck, we're gonna have to fuck around with this shit as well. Does that work? Hang on, maybe, now we gotta learn our ships. Okay, that's maybe a bit too far. Okay, so what do you reckon? On top or next to it? 
I do like the outline though. The snap to grid outline, I must admit, looks a lot better in this patch. It's like got that cool skeletal frame around it. All right, so I am going to close my ship. Close your mongrel. Ah, oh, don't give me fucking those options. Come on. All right, it's doing something. Thank fuck for that. All right, so we will now head back and buy more. A lot more. Okay, so with a bit of fancy editing, we're now back in. Hello. Thank you. Hello. Okay, so now we're professionals. Okay, we know what we're doing. We go to the last one, to the area that we're actually located. That explains why that thing was always there. Um, we want Laranite, and we want to... I'm just trying to think now. Which one makes sense? Is it the two or the four should I take? Thinking, thinking, thinking. Still think that two makes sense. It's interesting. Why is everything now stopped on my side? Ah, batteries. Ah, bloody bullshit wireless stuff. There we go. All right, so we'll keep on doing the twos. It's going to be painful. How many twos can we get? Or, or maybe fours. No, no, fours might be able to do. I think I can carry up to the fours, I believe. Well, if not, we're going to have a good laugh at my expense. But I'm pretty sure we can carry up to the fours. Ah, oh, come on, keyboard and mouse. Ah, oh. let this be a lesson to you folks. Don't do video recordings when you have low batteries on your mouse and your keyboard. Because you're going to get shit like this. Come on, you piece of crap of a thing. Come on, hang on. No, I'm just I'm just rubbing the batteries together. Give me a second. Click the fucking things back in. Uh, asshole of a thing. Why aren't you working now? Oh, here we go. All right, let's click a few more. All right, we got a bit of a delay here, but no problem. All right, is that enough? Is that all I can get? Ah, Jesus, here we go, come on. We're thinking. Ah, come on, click, bye. Hey, mouse is working again. <sighs> Hey, someone else has landed. Ah, he's doing a package run. Mate, I have no problem if you want to have a look at me doing this shit, to be honest with you. I also wouldn't have a problem if he wants to lend a hand. Okay, things are opening up that way. Now he's got an Aurora, so what's he gonna steal? Well, he could steal my ship, that's true. Um, so, let's have a look. Ah, okay. So at the time of recording, folks, it looks like I can't hit F while I'm holding the um, tractor beam, or the multi-tool. So it looks like I'm gonna have to... Can I just do it like this? 
No. Well, that sucks. Does that mean I have to host the damn thing? It means I'm going to have to host the damn thing. Or at least, can I host it? Yeah. So is this going to work? Yay. All right. So we send the elevator down. Hear that sound? Tick, 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 tick. Oh, okay. For a second, I was going to go crazy. All right. So move all. Send the elevator back up. All right. Once you know what you're doing, that seems to be okay. And again, I'm looking at the screen. heard some sounds in the background but that's all right wow here we go now where's my fucking multi-tool ah don't be a shit thing again come on multi-tool yeah beautiful let's Let's see how this is going to go. So how many we got? Three, six, nine, twelve, plus a few others. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Smash, bang. Again, the same problem? Yep. Yeah. Alright, snapped the grid, but it didn't snap. I wanted to see the skeletal outline. Alright, this is probably going to take a bit of time. Can I get it from here? No! I'm surprised. Okay, folks. So, I've pretty much put them all in. And I'm down to the last one. I'm not going to tell you how long this took. I'm actually going to save that for the next video. I'm going to have the counter going as well. I think in the next video I might just do a bit of introduction and just find some like soothing music to do over these things. As you can also see, I've started to um, stack them up. So with the fours, they only go four high. Um, and because I got the twos before, that's that. So yeah, we got a lot. Um, yeah, a bit of FYI. I also went back, bought more, came out again. So yeah, anyway, you'll see that in the next video if you want to see punishment. This video is just to see, okay, what's going to happen next and how's it all going to work. And whoa, we're roaring off into the sunset or the daylight. Oh yeah. Okay, so we're back at Area 18, folks, and we're coming in for a landing, and I'm quite conscious of that bloody camera flickering problem as soon as we go down into the hangar bay. I don't know what that's going to do, so I'm cringing as I'm landing. I might have to switch to the other mode, which is inside mode. Okay, it's not flickering. All right, fair enough. Put the landing gear down? Yep. All right, so... The loading area is up ahead, so I think if I put the ship here, you should be fine. Put it down. It's not exactly straight, but we're not. Oh. Thank you very much. Okay. So, now I have to offload my ship and move everything to the cargo hangar. Yeah, that's going to take some time as well. Good news is, no one can kill you here. At least I don't think. And here we go. We've got everything there. So just so you guys can have a look, I did a couple of things. So I did buy it a couple times. So we'll open up the arse end one this time. You thought I was going to do it from the nose, didn't you? I did say this was a reciprocal. We didn't verse reciprocal, but it's a reciprocal. So there we go. We don't have far to go that way. And the cargo elevator itself is still up. 
so that's okay so let's give this a shot shall we because I'm like everybody else very interested to see what the hell happens now obviously the way that I've set this I've set everything up in the ship oh, come on they are three abreast you can actually have them four abreast for sure um, it's just because I bought the other two at the beginning as test ones so I thought I would give them well that, that's the layout that's the reason for it But this is going to be interesting when we start doing a little bit more of these missions and there's like not enough of the big boxes and all the other shit like that. So yeah, I'm, I'm just thinking to myself here, folks. Sorry about that. So is this the end of the... Okay, is that the end? Okay, good to see that the... Um, yeah, that's the end. Good to see that the skeletal frame was all the way working this time. So I'm quite happy with that. I'm going to get those bloody messages. You've left and you've entered and you've left and you've entered. Oh, can we get rid of those? Okay, so here we go again. Smacking the roof. As we do. And we spin him around. And I'm wondering, how high does these things stack? Do they also stack up to a height of four? Or do they stack up to a height of higher? I don't know. We shall see. There we go. So we'll just see. We'll, again, this is what it is now, folks. So I'm out of curiosity, more so interested to see how high these things stack. And we're going for the last one. After, again, a lot of uh, time and um, editing on my side. And, well, you, you'll see in a second. Well, fuck, bounce like a basketball. Have a look at that, folks. I am a bit anal with the way I'm setting it up, yes, but it does go up four high. It doesn't want to go any higher. And you know what? I'm not going to fuck around with it. I'll put that one there and say, well, do I put it there? Yeah. This is what it looks like. I've got the other two on top, plus that there. What do you reckon? Shall we do a, a picture for... There we go. This might be the actual thumbnail from YouTube oh yeah and and with a little red from the tractor beam the multi-tool yep we got it Ev. all right good so here we go it's cargo elevator oh yeah multi-tool will let me do it so sending it down having the multi-tool in the hand actually still works here interesting so that's going down and I'm guessing I have to hit the move to warehouse button, otherwise I'm going to be stupid. Huh. Do you do it automatically? Uh, shit. Hang on. Uh, a standard container car. All containers? Okay, hang on. It's there. Alright, it did it automatically. Laranite, Laranite. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Whew, all right. So, I should have to run the other way, don't I? So let's like holster the multi-tool. We don't need that now. So what I'll do, folks, first of all, thank you very much for watching. Oh, I don't even remember moving that. How the hell that happened? All right, well, that's going to be an interesting one, but not for this video. So thank you very much for watching. I'm going to store my ship now. And once it's all stored, we will pretty much call that a video for today because it's longer than what I normally do, for sure. And the next one's going to be painfully longer. Okay, it goes down. Is that what it looks like? Ah, fuck, I should have been quicker. All right, next time. So that goes down. I can't go over the caution sign because apparently I die. Don't want to do that. And now the hangar itself closes. Huh. Alright. And there you go. Again, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something from this one. And I um, hope you had a good laugh out of it at my expense. So, there we are. See you in the next one.